Hi guys! Okay, so this is going to be part two of my wedding makeup tutorial. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'll put a link down below. Part one was all about getting a really flawless, beautiful base that is going to look great in photos, and then some tips on contouring and filling in your brows. And this part is going to be all about how I did my eye makeup, the colors that I use on my cheeks, and how I did my lips. So if you want to see that, then keep watching. The first thing I'm going to do, of course, is prime with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, you can use any primer that you have. This is just the one that I use. I know there are a lot of other ones out there that are just as good. Um, also a little bit in my inner corner and then take a little bit underneath my eye as well. So then I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin, just on my eyelid, right under my brow bone and in the inner corner just to have a really nice shimmery base for my eyeshadow. So mainly on the inner part of my eyelid, um, right in the inner corner, and then right under my brow bone. And now that I've got my eyes prepped, the shadows that I'm going to be using are from the Balm's Nude Tube Palette. And that's upside down. I absolutely love this palette. The shadows in here are gorgeous. They're so nice and creamy and just really pigmented. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of this color called Stubborn. So I'm applying that all over the inner part of my eye, my lid, and all the way up to my brow bone. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the color standoffish and put just pack that right in the center because it's a little bit more shimmery. So now I'm going to take a really big, nice, fluffy blending brush, pick up the color Sultry, and start working that on the outer part of my eye. Um on the lid and in the crease but just really really lightly and this is just going to be kind of a base for all the other darker colors that I'm going to use. Right, now that I have that base down I'm going to start going in with the darker colors. Um, first I'm going to take the color Selfish which is more of a cool shimmery brown. So what I like to do for my eye shape is look down into my mirror and start kind of creating this V shape. I'm a line with that shadow and then I start blending it in going to keep going. I'm going to take the color Sophisticated next. So you can see this time I'm just making this really small little V shape. Then I'm going to take that same color, the Sophisticated color, and put some on the outer half of my lower lash line. Pull it up to meet those other colors. Take my time, my other little smudgy brush again and the color Snobby. and put that under my brow bone. I'm going to take actually my Anastasia brow brush and this really dark matte brown color called Sleek and I'm just going to start pressing that into my lash line. I'm going to take my little small smudgy brush and just kind of smudge all that out. So then I'm going to use my NYC waterproof liner pencil and this one is just in black and I'm going to tight line I'm going to do the whole bottom waterline and then do the outer part of the top waterline. The very last thing that I did for my eyes was I used a little bit of this Lorac 3D Liquid Luster which is just a liquid shimmer. I just put a little drop on the back of my hand, pick up a tiny, tiny bit with my finger and then pat that right in the center of my eye and that just adds a little bit more sparkle. I'm really just focusing it right in the center. I'm not going to put it in the inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and just curl my lashes and apply my mascara. The mascara that I used, I used two actually. I used Benefits They're Real, which is a water resistant mascara. And then on top, I used the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes, which is a waterproof mascara. Um, so the layering this on top of this helps this be more waterproof because it's water resistant but not waterproof. So. Um, I didn't want to take any chances. And this one, the Tarte Lights Camera Splash is also really good for your lower lash line. It's just a really natural looking mascara. I'm waiting for all my mascara to dry. I'm going to go ahead and do my cheeks. And I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Blissful, which is a gorgeous peachy color. Or it's actually more of a coral color, but... Um, I just use a little blush brush like this and swirl this on my cheeks and blend it back to my hairline. 
And blush is something that you also probably want to put on a little bit extra um, just so that it really shows up in photos and you don't look washed out. So I kind of put on a little extra layer just to be safe. And then what I like to do to make sure everything is really blended is just take my little kabuki brush and go over everything just to make sure it's really seamless. If you watch my first wedding video that I put up talking about all the products and the prep things that I did, um, you know that I got my lashes applied the day before at Ulta and I had the individual lashes. But if you are planning on doing your own lashes and you're not really a pro because I'm not a pro at false lashes at all, I definitely recommend trying the little demi lashes. Um, even ones like this, they're not a complete full strip. Um, and these I got at Sally's and these are both Andrea. Andrea or Ardell. Um, I think they're the Andrea brand. The lash glue that I'm a big fan of is the duo lash glue that comes in this bottle with a little brush. It makes it so so easy just to get a really thin little layer of glue on the lashes because you really don't need to have it like dripping in glue. So I just put the glue on there and let it dry for about 30 seconds. I highly recommend that Anyone that is having pictures taken, whether it be for prom or wedding, definitely, definitely wear false lashes. It's going to make all the difference. And it just makes your lashes, like it doesn't look, in pictures, it doesn't look like you're wearing false lashes. It just looks like you have really nice lashes. If you don't wear false lashes, it's going to look like you don't have eyelashes almost. Um, so I will just stick that on. Alright, so I have my lashes on now, so I'm going to focus on my lips while the glue is drying, and then I'm going to go back and touch up any liner if I need to. Add a little bit of extra highlight. I'm just going to take my MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter and just put that right on my cheekbones. I'm not going to put this anywhere through the center of my face because I don't want it to come off as me looking too oily, so I'm just putting this on my cheekbones because I already kind of highlighted in the center of my face anyway, so I don't want to overdo it. Um, I'm just adding a tiny, tiny bit of this on my cheekbones. Alright, for my lips, the first thing that I use is my BH Cosmetic Lip Liner in Earth, which is just a really nice nude color. And I just put this down so that if, you know, my lip gloss or anything wore off, I would still have some color to my lips. And this is waterproof, and it lasts forever. I'm telling you, it lasts all day. So, I'm basically just going to fill in my lips completely with this. top of that, I layered my YSL Glossy Stain, and mine is number 7, which is a really nice kind of everyday coral color. And I really like this combination because it gives your lips a little bit of color and it makes your makeup look really polished without being really overpowering. It just kind of works well with the look. It doesn't take over the look, but it makes the look feel complete. And then right in the center of my lips, I use this really shimmery reflective lip gloss from Smashbox. Just take a tiny bit of that with a lip brush. And I just put that right in the center just to kind of highlight the center of my lips and make it look really full. Alright guys, so that is my finished wedding makeup tutorial. I hope it wasn't too overwhelming for you guys. Um, I really did try to keep my makeup pretty simple for that day. I wanted something that looked really polished, a little bit glam. Um, but nothing like really out there. Um, I, of course, I went with something kind of sparkly and kind of smoky because that's just my style. Um, but I still tried to keep it really open, the inner part of the eye open, just so it wouldn't be too dark. I just wanted everything to look really polished. And I really tried to focus on what was going to look best in photos. So I really hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any more questions, make sure you leave them down below. If you have any questions about the products that I use or how I use them, make sure you leave a comment because I love responding to you guys' comments and talking to you on here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the requests for this look. Um, 
and thank you guys just for all of your congratulations. You guys are so sweet and it's just so amazing to have all these people just congratulating me for my wedding. It's just really amazing and really thoughtful and really supportive. So I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!